Special investigators, welcome back to the channel. Jason, thank you for the suggestion of calling the fans of Reacher special investigators and those who watch our reactions know that we label a lot of the fans of the shows that we watch and special investigators is one of those perfect ones. Fitting, very so, fitting. So there you go. For now on till the end of the Reacher show, you will be known as the special investigators. <laughs> Real quick though, we're both, the whole family is getting over a sickness, so we felt like we were able to build up the energy to watch and record and get back on track a little bit, so here we are, if we sound or look a little off, it's probably why. But here we are, Reacher Season 2, Episode 5, and definitely the highlight of the last episode was getting Finley back. Yeah. And they were in Boston, Finley's from Boston, I think I said something about New York, details matter in investigation so but it happened it was fantastic mm -hmm. to see him again yeah. i wasn't sure if we were going to get anybody from season one to show up and the way they work that political assistant dude was amazing and just so well Spilled done and filled all the beans yeah all of them and got everything that they needed and they're on their way to get more information on what they're investigating and i just reacher and finley together just such a great combo because yeah. they're so different but they're so great together they just work so well and it was a lot of fun it was a nice surprise getting him back i agree this whole swan situation i don't know where i'm landing on it i mean he clearly works at new age we saw that the special investigators all have their own little careers now that they aren't working together anymore mm -hmm. and i still am leaning towards the idea that he's not dirty and the fact that he might have stumbled upon something and reached out to the other members and ended up getting them in trouble we still don't know where swan is right we know so. that his house is empty and his dog had passed right. away which sucks, but there's no body for yeah. him yet, so... And the other members are dead, and they were thrown out of the helicopter, and the last episode ended with Reacher telling Langston that he wants to throw him out of a helicopter, which I have a I'm feeling... Down. I have a feeling that was a foreshadow, and it's probably going to happen. But I still... So, my feelings of O'Donnell keep going back and forth. Same. I don't know if he's necessarily dirty and trying to... There was a comment where it feels like it's a possibility. Like, the phone call that he got from his kids on his burner phone. Right. That's the big red flag for me. Yeah. And it feels like a situation where either he is dirty and he's playing Reacher or this family of his has been apprehended and he's being threatened somehow. Right. That, that feels like a more logical situation currently. It's just with the way Reacher's behaving and the way he's being really defensive of his people... I just find it hard to believe that any of them would actually turn on him. Yes. Without something really bad being put at stake or threatened. Yeah. I don't I mean, know. And the way they had, they made Swan kind of look iffy when they. On that flashback. On the flashback. Oh, there, there is something in my car. The That's, brick, yeah. yeah the, the last brick. And it's like, what are you trying to show us here? I wonder if that was a swerve. To, Maybe. like, get us off O'Donnell. Maybe. But, I mean, they definitely painted that picture. They definitely showed us that for a reason. I just... I'm still leaning towards the idea that Swan's not dirty. O'Donnell could be. But I think more of it has to do with the possibility of his family being compromised in this situation. Because, again, that phone call was a total red flag. I don't know, like, why else would... Do you give your family members your burner number? I don't know. I, that seems yeah, like a questionable thing. That's kind of so. Sus, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot playing out. There was another really dope fight scene. They were all dressed up, looking sharp after going to the symphony. And this MC rolled up and they decided to pick a fight. And you don't ever mess with the special investigators, especially when they're all dressed up. And wearing heels. Yeah. Neely was very uncomfortable and wanted to get out of that outfit, so she wasn't in a good mood. She's definitely not someone that you want to want to pick a fight with if she's not in a good mood. And Dixon, she put a heel through dude's eyes. Yes, that, that was, was fantastic. Pretty wild fight scene. And things definitely aren't working out for Langston currently, and I think he's starting to get a little nervous on this whole situation. And his little dude that he's got roaming around, he's doing some pretty messed up stuff and... Yeah, I, where this is all going to connect and where it all goes is going to be very interesting to see you ready for this next episode. Yes. Let's go. Ah! Oh, okay. They're fine. Everybody's fine. Grab the burner phone. No contact with anyone. Not your parents. Got it. 
for safety. I know the drill. Go to Asheville, take the boys. Plenty for you to do there. It's tourist you'll blend in. Use cash and this pays go credit card. Does Reacher fit anywhere? Mm -mm. How bad is this? I'm not gonna come after you. We're just playing it safe. Belts and suspenders. One to ten. For you guys, four. How about you? Well, we're dealing with some pretty bad guys, but I got the gang. I mean, we'll be fine. We'll be over in a couple of days, promise. I'm glad that we got to meet O'Donnell's family. Yeah. And that, you know, not what we thought. She no. doesn't panic, accepts reality on reality's terms. Daughter of an ER nurse, Chicago fire chief, tough as they come. Beautiful, tough, smart. She lose a bet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone asked me back in the day where I thought you'd wind up. I'd have predicted a slow death from gonorrhea and a half dozen girlfriends fighting over an 04 Miata. Damn, dude. Damn. The DCMA was here a month ago. Yeah, now we're back. We're the cold source of government oversight. Now, if you please, your foreman. Wait here. Oh, she seems delightful. <laughs> Nobody told me about this. Wouldn't be a surprise inspection if we called the head. <laughs> we're here to take a look at little wing shoulder fired launchers and missiles. What are delivery schedules? <laughs> delivery schedule. 10 minutes ago. That's the delivery schedule. The whole lot just went out the door. All 650 of them. Damn. Uh-oh. He's gonna die. Hey there! You need an extra set of hands? What I need is your truck. Oh. Sorry, bud. That sucks. It's what you get for stopping and trying to help, I guess. Jeez. Well, you can just knock him out for two minutes. That so sucks. That pops open way too easy. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, shit. Your associates of New Age came through. They might be upset I killed the driver, though. No, they won't care as long as they get paid. Oh, awesome. This name. Right here, Zari Mahmoud. Guy's smart, never been caught, no photos. From the little bit we know of him, he can supposedly pass for Central American, Italian, Greek, Middle Eastern. He's a ghost. He's super slick. His only god is money, and he works for the highest bidder. He hooks up bad actors with the tools they need for bad actions. <laughs> this buy was supposed to happen with bearer bonds. The US Treasury stopped issuing those in the 80s. Someone as cautious as AM would use bearer bonds. If issued in large enough amounts, you can carry an untraceable fortune in a briefcase. Interesting. You hold a bear bond, it's like carrying a million dollar bill. <laughs> so no way AM wow. lets anyone deliver payment but him. That's where he's vulnerable. Just like your brother. Aww. He just clenched his jaw. AM will be the delivery boy. We show you ours. No, it's your turn. <laughs> I got nothing. We're still piecing it together, but we give you our word. When this bird's cooked, we'll reach out. You have my word. We won't let this guy slip through our fingers again. AM and everyone working with him will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Unless we kill them all first. <laughs> or that. I don't know if that's what they wanted to hear. Right? Just like his brother. Oh. I didn't Aww. feel like a positive. I think that was like a damn it, Rachel shit. I mean, it's kind of hard to work with people who go rogue. Yeah. Maybe that's kind of like what that mindset is. Yeah, I could see that. But they're going off always doing their own thing against maybe a plan. Oh, shit. This is a hijacking. Any chance you're wrong? No, 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 no. <laughs> Shit. All right, goddamn. What if they were just some innocent bystanders that were just stopping to like? Give a fuck. They're just gonna smoke them. Yep. <laughs> Shoot and kill first. Ask questions later. Yep. And they're all about to die. Fuck. You don't know who you're messing with. Damn, I love it. I love it so much. Damn. I think we got him. 
Also, it looks like we got a front tire and a gas tank. We're not getting out of here. I'll call the cops. Make it anonymous. Do me a favor, grab the manifest. We need the license plate off a bit. That was very sneaky, bailing into the trunk. Yeah, I like it. New Age truck with all 650 missiles in it was hijacked. I hope that's the worst news. You wish. Tony Swan's alive. It looks like Swan's still working for New Age. According to the Bill of Lading, Swan personally signed off on the shipment before he left the factory. Well, that's what Got she saw. It. Yeah, that makes sense. So they forged a signature. It's a digital thumbprint. Then they forced him. I know you want to believe Swan's clean, boss. We all do. But things look the way they look. There might still be hope somewhere. I don't know. Dude, that's going to destroy Reacher. Yeah. He's going to fight that idea all the what way to the end. What you said about killing them all? That include Tony Swan? Going for a walk. Shit. Boys don't mean any names. Yeah, we're all friends here. As long as they didn't find the wire Swan's wearing, we're five by five. See what you got, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Let's talk money. As soon as they agree to a deal, we go. Virginia. <laughs> the oldest likes to slap anytime she sees a license plate from a uh, different state. state. Yeah. That was 105. Sounds Probably like you're wasting my fucking time. I know you. you. Purchase at a volume, which makes it worth my I don't think so. Yeah, I do. Where do I know you from? Uh-oh. 100, take it or leave it. I got it. You're the guy I sold my guitar to a while back. You got me mixed up with somebody else. Craigslist, dude. You bought oh, my shit. acoustic. You assholes don't want this stuff. We got other places we can sell it. Wait a minute. When this guy bought it, he was in an army cop uniform. Oh, shit. Oh, God, you are the worst. Oh. oh! Oh, God! Look out! Oh! Oh, Swan took a bullet for him. The bullet missed your heart. <clears throat> that shattered my collarbone. Not gonna be playing that guitar for a while. Every cloud. <laughs> hey, who don't you mess with? Teamsters. <laughs> I owe you one. You can't. They're just. It just. I mean, I'm with Reacher here. It's so just, that's another yeah, example, though. Dude took a bullet for him. Shattered his collarbone. And it's like, what kind of person dives in front of a bullet for you like that? Yeah. And now he's dirty. Like Reacher. Like he's gonna see this all the way through the end. The senator has a proposition for you. Get in. No. <laughs> Why not, Mr. Reacher? Just Reacher. Why won't you get in the car? Because he didn't ask nicely. Hart, what's the magic word? Now. Please get in the vehicle. <laughs> Why does Reacher always hesitate so long when he's like, just Reacher? Reacher. I was wondering that exact same thing shot up. Because every like, he time... he seems, like, conflicted about saying, just reach her. Yeah, but he, there's always, like, a two or three second pause. It's like, just reach her. Thank you. I <laughs> literally was thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time. Problems persist. There may have to be a price adjustment. Some of Mr. Swan's old friends are causing us problems, but it's nothing we can't handle. If you want the merchandise, um, you want it. It seems like deal. something you literally can't handle. You promised, and I will. He knows that they're connected to Swan. Yeah. Which is... Scary for Swan. The little wing chips will be ready to install the missiles by the time you get here. And Mr. Swan's associates will be taken care of. That plan's already in motion. I doubt that. Yeah. Fuck you, King. He's like, you should have hung up first. I can still hear you, motherfucker. I want to know where Swan is. Like, what's going on with him? Mr. Reacher. Malcolm Lavoie. He prefers just Reacher. No, he has to call me Mr. Oh, shit. Seems like after you retired, you kind of fell off the face of the earth. Except for this incident a couple of years ago in Margrave, Georgia, charged with the murder of your own brother. You were, of course, exonerated. Then a massive counterfeiting operation that Joe had been investigating, literally and figuratively burned to the ground. All the work of a rookie cop and an out-of-town veteran, the same out-of-town veteran that arrested Boyd here in Boston. Get to the point. 
<laughs> smells like monkey shit in here. <laughs> I want you to do the same thing for the situation we have here. Why? Because in Boston, you insinuated to Boyd that military and civilian aircraft could be in danger due to Little Wing. Now, I can only assume that means the terrorists are interested in the attack, working hard to obtain it. Once we identified you, we looked into things deeper and we learned that your old unit's back together. Dang. I'm impressed. I'm a U.S. congressman. I get things done. I'm shocked because a U.S. congressman got anything done. <laughs> oh, burn! The bottom line, the people who want this weaponry can never be allowed to have it. Get rid of the bad guys, keep my hands clean. Washington, them, we call that a win-win. Jesus. I did what I did to give our side the tools they need to defend democracy. And line your pockets in the process. Again, win-win. <laughs> I'm a political animal. I'm not a monster, Mr. Reacher. And I'm not asking for your help. I'm offering you mine. And you're the kind of man who likes to get things done to you. You like to upset the apple cart? Well, I'm prepared to give you whatever you need to aid you in that endeavor. No one will be able to prove that you were ever near those apples. Jesus. Just smash this thing to bits. Leave no man left standing. No one left to endanger lives. Wow. That's, that's so intense. Had my office make some discreet inquiries. Then the sheriffs found the shot up truck with the switched out trailer. Seems their plan was to drive the dummy cargo down to the port in LA. You have any leads as to where the real missus went? Colorado State Police found the truck in a field outside Denver. I think a private plane flew the weapons out overnight. What? Wow. We need to know exactly where the missiles are headed so we can intercept them. So when the money changes hands, AM will be there and so will the people who killed our guys. Thank you. My nephews have the same one. It's a great toy. When I was a kid, I had Aquaman. I thought it was so cool how he could talk to fish. Because I wanted to talk to my dog, you know? Poor baby. I want you to have this too. This is mine. San Jerome. He's the patron saint of kids whose moms and dads go to heaven. I want you to say the prayer on the back every night. It'll help keep you that close. Can you do that? Oh, guy. Honestly. I love this dude. Honestly, he's a real good one. You need anything, you call me day or night. You better stay clean. Like, for real. Like a good dude, yeah. Why are you giving toys to my dead friend's son? Cozy up to the kid, score points with mom. You see a grieving widow and think, easy target. Are you kidding me right now? You got some kind of death wish? Some people think so. <laughs> Why'd a biker gang take a run at me in Boston last night? Because you're an asshole. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're the only person I told we were going there. Are you trying to say that I'm bent? Not trying to say anything. You know why I was talking to Mikey? Because I know what he's going through. I know what it is to look out the window every night and pray that the next set of headlights coming down the street is your father's car, even though you know it'll never happen. Do you know what it is to lose family? Yeah, they're all dead, every one of them. And I was talking about you, not your father. I'm talking about him. My father was a cop, a good one, and he refused to be on the take, and they killed him for it. I know that's your friend's son and widow, but you call me dirty one more time, and I don't care if we're standing in front of the statue of the Holy Mother, I will give you that beating that I owe you. <laughs> oh, shit. While you were in Boston doing God knows what, I was running those security names from New Age, all former NYPD. Whole team of bad cops? Everybody except your buddy Schwan. But he's the only one that has military experience to know what type of weapons terrorists want, so... <sighs> now you're implying something that's pissing me off. <laughs> With his background, for all we know, he might have put the whole thing together. Shit. You interview any of them? Couldn't. You turned their office into a drive through Oh, about that. You want to call somebody dirty? First look in your own backyard. Ouch. Wow. Dang. They're good together. No, oh, they're... Reacher will beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I that mean, will be a good fight. Gaetano, I have no question that you're tough and you could throw down, but Reacher will whoop your ass. 
ensure a certain hope of the resurrection to the eternal life. Amen. It's the uniforms and the flag that get me like every time. Firing party, attention, stand by. Oh, what? Oh my god. Dude, thank god this he noticed This guy sucks. That. For a sniper, terrible at this job. Also, you're destroying all of these headstones. Yikes. How many bullets do they have? Jesus. I'll draw their fire, you take them out. You're a great shot. You're a slow runner. <gasps> oh! Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably be my response to. Yeah, fuck this. You're a slow runner, Reacher. <laughs> There you go. So you trust me now, or are you just desperate? <laughs> I saw you protect Angel and Mikey, so I guess you're playing a square. You got a rat in your house, so that's for sure. Shit, Bruce, over. There's a pedal on the right. Oh, shit. I thought this was supposed to be a high speed pursuit. <laughs> Dang! Do the way they jab at each other, it's. You wanna drive? Yes. Car, dude. Oh shit. Let's not kill this dude. Right? We, we need to ask questions this time. Fucking menace, you know that? You drive like you're blind. Oh my god. Don't shoot. I'm done. Okay? I'm done. You're under arrest, asshole. No, these guys took a run at us in broad daylight at a crowded funeral. They're getting desperate. Insisting's coming to a head fast. We take him in, he lawyers up and doesn't talk until it's too late and a terrorist has 650 chances to take down a commercial airliner. Look the other way. Oh, come on, man. Oh, God. By not telling me everything you know, you're protecting the people who killed my friends. I'm not going to waste my time with enhanced interrogation techniques. I'm just going to squeeze the life out of you. Oh, so my God. So if at any God. point before you die, you feel like fully unburdening yourself. Blink. Unburdening yourself. Why does he look so familiar? He's blinking. He's blinking! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Let me catch my breath. This dude don't want any of this smoke. <laughs> We were supposed to use a gunfire from the 21 gun salute to mask our shot. Take you and your team down and get out of there. Langston wouldn't give you all the cash up front. Where are you supposed to meet him to get the rest of the money? An abandoned building in some shitty neighborhood in Queens. I don't know any Langston. Then who hired you? Don't say so. Some guy called Swan. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Dixon and O'Donnell are in position. Russo's down the street. All exits are covered. You try anything, you'll be sorry. You go in there, get paid, give us a rundown. We'll cut you loose. You get to keep the cash. Understood? Yeah, man. Whatever. I just never want to see people again. <laughs> you try anything, we come in hot and you die with the rest of them. Get going, stupid. <laughs> okay. Swan went to work for New Age, saw a chance to make the kind of money he always dreamed of and took it. Then what? He was hanging out with Franzi and being in the same city and all. Slipped and said something that made Franz suspicious. Or tried to get Franz in on it. Figured with a wife and kid, he'd need the money too. Franz said no. Tried to stop it. Called St. Jude's and Orozco for help. I don't know, man. I don't know. If Swan's really in that building, I'm gonna do the same thing I did to that guy. Wrap my hand around his neck and squeeze the truth out of him. Hello? Ah, uh, this feels like Oh! <gasps> oh, God. Oops. 
down. What a good episode. I I think they're... I feel like all this Swan backstory stuff is a swerve. Yeah. I feel like they're showing us all this stuff, and I don't know. I, I, I'm i not buying the idea that it's him. It feels too obvious. Maybe it's somebody else saying that he's Swan? I don't know. I, I mean... But then that wouldn't... I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense with his background that he would be the one leading all of this, though. Which... I... It's confusing right now. I just think they're doing a decent job of not necessarily giving everything away, but like they're making it feel like the story's obvious and they're going to hit a swerve. I don't think it's Swan. I still wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm glad that we got... I'm, I love how in the intro we're talking about O'Donnell and his family being compromised. They're not. Yeah. I still think he's... Well, not in this episode. Right. I still am not sure. I like... Again, it, my feelings for him have been an absolute roller coaster because I'll feel like he's dirty and then I'm like, he's not, but then he is, but then he's not. And I'm back to like, he's not. And I. And I'm at he maybe I'm like what what Neely said there at the end about the possibilities of what the plans could be. I'm wondering if it's more of a situation where Langston might have gotten some information about him in his background and might be a situation where he's compromised and he's being forced into this situation to where maybe that's why his team members are dying, where other members of the special investigators are dying. And I don't know. I well, What is this like hiring hitmen to attack them at the funeral and take them out? The plan was to kill them. That's what Langston said was that he's got things put in motion to eliminate them. He said that in this episode. So, but you don't think that was actually Swan that put them up to that? I mean, do. that's the part that it could be Langston using Swan's name to be like, yeah, I don't, I, I'm until we see Swan and hear from him, I'm not going to buy the idea that he's behind this right. in a negative way. I still feel like something else is going on that they're not telling us because they got to investigate and figure this stuff out. I, st the idea that they would do this at a funeral, try to like snipe them, it makes sense, especially knowing that it's a military service yeah. and they were going to be doing the salute yeah. so that you could take them out during that. I just, you, you're so many steps behind Reacher. It's not even funny how he picks up on things and he is so aware of what's going on. And he was able to pick up on that before it even happened. And right, right. There, I mean, once your location is identified as a sniper, you're basically, I mean, you're put at a disadvantage at that point, even though you still have cover and a better shot. But you're messing with Reacher and the special investigators. They're going to whoop your ass. I mean, Word. that <laughs> car scene at the beginning, that was super dope with yeah. Dixon and Neely where they like pulled up. Dudes were like quick to fire and they backed away and then they like backed out in the friggin trunk of the yes. car and yep. that whole the, sneak attack was amazing and into the trunk because you both can't pop out of the yeah. trunk at the same time so like perfection that was so well done yeah. so well done but you're really starting to see this stuff and i think i think you saw it the most last episode but like this idea of swan being dirty is really fucking reach her up yeah it's really hurting him and he's getting into verbal fights with guy over here. Yeah. And just the idea that they showed us a flashback where Swan took a bullet for Reacher. Yeah. It feels like one of those things where Reacher's going to do whatever he can to prove that it's not Swan and that Swan's not bad. Until he like hears it from like Swan, Swan's mouth. Like, yeah. yeah. While his hands around his throat. Yeah. Choking the air out of him. Lord. That's Yeah. This is wild. I, I love the action sequences. I continue to just love the way this show unfolds its stories. I think it's so interesting and so well done. And I mean, if we just got literally a Reacher and Gaetano buddy cop type of show, I would be all about that. Those two together are so much fun and so entertaining. And I mean, they've been talking about fighting for, I think, two different episodes now. They're definitely fighting before the end of the season. I think they're definitely <laughs> like whether it's like a friendly type of thing, they're definitely going to throw down at some point 
And I think it's going to be like a Rocky Apollo type of thing to where like you've been talking shit this whole time. I've been talking shit this whole time. Let's just settle it and do it properly. And again, I mean, or I'm sure Gaetano is super tough. They become best friends. I mean, it feels like they're going down that once this is all solved. And yeah, as long as guy survives and we're good, it's just one of those things where it's a I, it's a Finley situation. I feel like they're fighting for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they fight until they become besties. And I still fully believe Reacher, easy, first round, probably knockout. I mean, he can like again. He, guy is probably super tough, I was but say he's real scrappy. He yeah, can do it. but Reacher's a beast. Yes, and I just. I don't think it'd be a very even fight. He's way bigger. He's got the height advantage. He's probably got a reach advantage. And yeah, I, I think he's probably got a training advantage too. Overall, just experience and combat and all that stuff. But yeah. another really entertaining episode. I love where the story's going. I can't wait till we find out exactly what's going down with the story. So where are you right now on Swan? Yes, he's bad or no, he's not. I don't know. They're doing a good job of keeping you kind of fuzzy brained, huh? Yeah. On the idea. I, I totally think all these flashbacks and all these, like him, like the one sniper dropping his name, like he hired me. I feel like it's all a swerve. It I feels too obvious. Swerve. I don't want him. To, I don't. Okay. Here's. I don't want him to be bad, but I'm worried that he might be. Yeah. I, I just, the Reacher coming to that realization is probably a scary thing. Yeah. I, I don't want to be around him when he finds out and gets confirmation that Swan was dirty and is responsible for, what, three members, two members dead? Three. Because he's technically the third, right? Frenzy. Oh, fourth. three, yes. Oh, yeah. He's technically the fourth who's missing. We don't yeah. know where he is. But the fact that he might be responsible for three deaths of the special investigators, that'll tear Reacher so apart. Good. So yeah. another really good one. Any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all. Share all your thoughts, leave your comments. We'll talk to you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.